Hi everybody, Angie here, coming on to do a little make with you guys. Um, I haven't done one of my um, videos where I do recycle, reuse, upcycle, uh, however you want to word it, where we're taking something old that we would normally throw away and repurpose it, reuse it, and turn it into something beautiful for our junk journals. So, I didn't really think about this being a series, but I do like to try and do these videos when I can. It's just to show how easy it is to reuse something. You know, take a second look at something and see the value in it and see if you can reuse it into something else. So, with that, I was um, going through some pieces and I found this back page of an old book. Okay. And I love the color on the inside. And it's kind of almost like a lightweight, a little bit lighter than maybe a cereal box, but very sturdy. Um, and I was like, I don't want to throw that away. And then I got to holding it and just <laughs> looking at it. I was like, that could make a nice um, journal cover. So that's what we're going to do today. We're just going to make a really quick, really simple, really easy single signature journal. Okay, using this book page back and it's from a uh, paperback book okay and then not only is that recycled but um i had this digital here i printed it in a four by six and isn't that gorgeous i thought that was so pretty i just printed two of them anytime i do any printing and if it's an image that i really like 99 percent of the time i'll print two just to have a backup just in case so i printed two of those and i pulled them out and those are almost the exact size as my book cover. So I was like, why not just use that as the front and then the back image, okay? Then when I cut these down from an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper, this is what I had left, because this is four by six right here. This image is four by six. So when I cut that away around the edges, there's your eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. So I'm recycling these. So we'll you just use these blank white pieces of paper as pages in our signature. So there's two of those because there was two copies and prints of here. And then I had one piece of um, eight and a half by, what is it? It's longer than 11. I think it's 16, eight and a half by 16 piece of paper. Well, I guess I should measure it right here for you guys. Um, and it was torn. See if right here it's torn. And I don't know how I tore it, but, you know, it's, it's a piece of paper. It's going to happen. So rather than throw it away, I hold on to those things, too. Okay, so it's 8.5 by 14. So I cut it down to be the same size as this piece of paper. So it gave me two. And as you can see, this is ripped. We're going we're gonna, to um, alter that and uh, still use that. And then I have this piece left over. Maybe we can use that for something. So we're recycling and up, upcycling and recycling those, those, and that. Okay, now this was new. I just printed those um, the other day and just had those on my desk. And then this is from a free digital. Um, and I'm sorry, I don't remember what group it's in, but it's in a, one of my groups that I'm um, signed in on Facebook regarding journals. I think it's free free images for junk journals, something like that on Facebook. So once a week or so, they give you a free digital, one page digital. And this is what, something like this. It was something like, maybe like that. It was eight and a half by 11, okay? Something like that, yeah, for fall. And I thought those images were really pretty. So those were sitting on my desk also. And they're almost the size of these. So I figured we'll just use these little bits these little pieces and make us a really quick, really, really easy journal. Okay, I'm gonna grab my crocheting thread real quick because I didn't grab that. Okay, and I don't know where my shoe, I wasn't totally prepared, was I? I need to find what I did with my needle. Hmm, okay. Uh, well, anyway, we're going to try to, hopefully I can find it by the time we need it. All right, so what I was thinking, real quick, real easy, we're going to use this as the as the cover, really sturdy. Um, 
and then we're going to just use this image as the front and the back but it's a little bit larger than the book cover itself so we're going to have to trim it down once we get it glued in so for right now we're just going to line it up we're going to glue it down i'm going to leave about we're only going to do a small uh journal one signature so i think maybe like a three eighths um spine will be plenty because this is just going to be super super easy okay um let me grab I have a little small piece of scrap paper here and we're just gonna make a simple journal just for fun just to show how easy it is no worries just simple fun beautiful piece I'm not even going to measure it. That's just how that's just how simple this and easy this um, journal is going to come together. Okay, guys. And I'm going to leave a little bit of a space, but don't worry. Once we get the um, signature all in, I'm going to grab a piece of fabric or or something. We'll find something to uh, cover that spine with. And I am just going to guess. I'll use my lines on my mat here, get it somewhat straight, but, and we'll just do, ooh, we'll just do a quarter of an inch. I think that'll be plenty. Okay, I'm not getting it. I gotta do it this way so I can <clears throat> see better. Let me put a little more glue down. Excuse me, I thought I was getting a little hoarse there. Just about. I think that's plenty, about a quarter of an inch. Okay. And the reason I chose to cover that is because I like the color on here and then we don't have to do anything to the inside. It's ready to go. Okay. So I'm going to bring my cutter up. We're going to trim this down. got our cover ready to go other than just putting a little piece of something um, and I've got some scraps and things on the side of me so there's plenty to just grab and go because we're just making a carefree fun journal now I'm just going to give myself some score lines that down a little bit better there we go but we're going to cover that anyway but just in case we'll slide a little more glue under there I'm going to use the edge of my desk as I usually do. And get that fold started. Okay. Give it a little crease. Isn't that pretty? I love that image. Okay, that should be, there we go. And this will end up being about four 
by five and three fourths. So, you know, you may not particularly have this size book or these particular images, but just use what you've got. I mean, this was just a, an ephemera piece and it look, it just makes a beautiful, beautiful cover. Honestly, you don't need to do anything to it, but if you want to add, you know, all the bells and whistles, you can, but we're just making a really quick, really easy signature here, okay? So I've got two pieces of paper from my coffee dyed paper, and that one was torn. So all I'm gonna do for that is I have some DIY, let me find it, um, aged tape. Um, right here. I'm just getting the right color. Or you just use alcohol inks and such. I don't know. I haven't done one of these videos, but there's many videos out there um, on this procedure. So I'm just going to take a piece of that and we're just going to put it down. Isn't that pretty? Okay, we have another piece to the other side. Scissors. Something here. Okay, grab another piece. Do the other side. Smooth it out. There we go. That's the beauty about doing a junk journal. You know, we can have a tear on a piece of paper and we can just overlay another piece of paper or something else to fix the imperfection, but we actually end up enhancing it. So, always great to do that. Okay, so we've got two pieces of paper, coffee dyed paper, we've got two pieces of blank paper, and then we've got these pieces. Now what I was thinking, they're also almost, everything's all kind of the same size, rectangular shape. Um, so I was thinking we can use this as another page, this is another page, um, let's see, oh, and this one. Now when you have images like these that are actually ephemera pieces and you're doing something like I'm doing with you guys today, that you wanna actually use them as a page, all you have to do is make a hinge put them together and that's what we're gonna do. Just make a hinge, quick paper hinge, and you got yourself some pretty papers. Okay, so I think these two are the same size. Oh, they're all just fairly, fairly off a little bit. This is just a fussy cut of a sunflower. We're gonna put that off to the side. I definitely wanna use this as a page. And what's the next largest? Probably this one, okay. So we need to hinge those together so that we can sew them in. So that's where this piece of scrap paper will come in. Okay, so we're gonna measure the length of the page. Well, I mean, if we wanted to, that could be the back page. We could do it that way also. We'll stick to the plan here. If you have um, decorative scissors, you can use the decorative scissors. Totally up to you. I'm just gonna wing it. Fold our piece of paper in half and we instantly have a hinge. Okay, and we're just gonna hinge those together. You can do them on the outside of the page this way. Especially if you have like decorative scissors, that would look really cute, or you could hinge them in this way. Your choice. Okay. So let me grab my scrap piece of paper again. Right, put some glue down on that baby. And then we're gonna put this down. We're gonna bring it right up to the edge, just like that. And then we're gonna do the other side the same way. 
So you can put them in this way, or you can put them in this way. Okay, totally up to you. Make sure I got them right side up. That's right side up, that's right side up, okay. And then we'll just trim away the extra. Just like that. There we go. Now we got two more pages. Okay, so that gives us one, two, three, four, five. So that gives us basically what, ten. Okay, so let's um Let's start with this one since it's decorative. Then we'll do a coffee dyed. Then we'll do a plain. Then we'll do a coffee dyed. Then we'll do the plain. That gives us one, two, three, yeah, ten pages. Total five sheets, ten pages. Okay, and we got a measure. And trim that down. So I'm just going to grab my pencil right there. I'm going to trim that up. Bring my cutter back in. Make sure everything's together well. And then we go. And it just so happens, you know, just when you're doing a project like this, just real quick and easy, and you're using ephemera bits, you might be making a miniature journal like we are doing today, just make sure the pages are somewhat the same. I mean, we always like our odd pages, but you don't want super big ones and then super small ones, I don't think. Um, so, let's see. There we go. See? We get that sewn in, and that's going to sit nice and flush just like this. And then I still have these pieces. So let me just see what I want to do with those real quick. We could just to cover up that hinge. If that hinge bothers you, we could do something like this. That would make a nice side pocket right there, wouldn't it? I think we'll do that. And trim a little bit more. Let me go ahead and put that down now real quick. Could put a thumb, thumb notch if you want. Let's see, let me mark the middle. This is four and a half, so we're gonna come up to two and a quarter. And I just give myself a little line where I need to trim. And we'll just use my circle punch and a little snip. Okay. Do we want to do any ink? Nope, we're just going to keep this baby really, really simple. We can always add ink later if we decide to. This is just a carefree... Easy, easy journal. I'm just going to find where the middle is so I can get it somewhat straight. Okay, there we go. We've got ourselves an instant pocket for that side, and we could do the same here. Or we could do this one this way and have the pocket coming from the top. Let's do that. So let me measure this one. It's three and one eighth. So one and a half right about there. Same thing. Let's eyeball it. There we go. Okay, and then we're going to put this down on the back page. 
right there. I'm trying to think of where my where my needles are. I just had them yesterday. I don't know where I put them. Okay. So there we go. We've got ourselves a nice little single signature note uh, journal. All right. I'll grab my pokey tool. And since this is just a carefree, easygoing journal, I'm not even going to do any measuring. Just make sure your pages are nice and snug. Push down as far as they can be. And let's see how I can do this. Well, maybe I'll try to... Mm. Trying to think of the best way to get these in without my pages slipping on me. I'm going to line them up. Try to get it half and half. Right in the middle of the spine. Grab a couple clips here. And I think I got it straight. But we're just going on the fly on this one, guys. So we're going to embrace... Okay, we're gonna try and get a little bit in the middle. So I'm gonna look, look right about there. And my main thing is when I'm poking, I just wanna try to get it in the middle of the spine. I don't wanna get it too far over to the left or the right. That's really the only thing I'm going for. Other than that, I'm just poking kinda of slow. And then we'll come over to this side, about the same distance. Okay, there we go. Now I've got my thread, but I don't know where my needle is. Hmm. I'm sorry guys, I promise I just had it yesterday. I don't know where I put it. I put it back where it belongs. <laughs> Can you believe it? How about that? Okay. Get this baby sewn in real quick. Start to the middle. Come through the top. Back down through the bottom. And I cut myself a way longer piece than needed, but it's better to have more than enough. Coming up on the opposite side. Put my strand there. Okay. We're just going to give it a little tug. We want it tight. There we go. And tie it off. Tighten a knot. Tighten a bow. However you choose. Leave the your your strands longer if you want to dangle some beads, something on them, totally up to you. But we're just, we're keeping this simple. Remember guys, we're just making a quick pocket journal to 
have on the fly for when we need it. Okay, put that needle away. All right, there we go. How long did that take, guys? 10 minutes. And we're done. Now from here, it's just really what you want to do. But look at that. Out of some recycled paper. Look how pretty that color is on that cover. I love that. Okay. We've just got a few pages. We've got a little good-sized pocket there. Tuck a few. Maybe you want to throw it in your pocket, your purse. Throw in some coupons. Maybe your grocery list. Um, your errand list. Something like that. And it can go in your console for um, whatever you need it. Throw it in your purse. It's got a good sturdy um, cover. Nice sturdy cover. There you go. Now I still have this. So I wonder where we can put this real quick. I don't want to just... Let me fussy cut this out. We have time. And maybe we could put it down. The decorating part is definitely a personal preference. But like I said, we're just, this video is mainly just trying to repurpose and reuse pieces that um, would normally be thrown away or discarded. Um, so I think we accomplished that. We used um, the back cover of the book. We used some torn um, ripped papers. We used some cut off pieces of paper that um, from the images. So we definitely accomplished what I set out to do. And now, we just do some light decorating and we call it a day. So since this is the only piece left that we haven't used, I thought I'd just fussy cut this out real quick and we'll put it down on one of the pages so it'll go with the theme of the journal, which is kind of a fall theme. And these images are just so lovely. So I'm really pleased to be able to use them, especially in just a quick project like this. Okay. Well, I would normally really get intricate and fussy cut those out, but I won't bore you guys with that part okay um and honestly i think i think i want it to sit right there so i'll do that off camera um and i will just fussy cut out all that little white part and i'll trim up that and i think i'm just gonna apply that right there okay the only thing left we have to do is cover the spine and this is going to be done and for that i have I have some fall burlap here, but I don't think that really goes. We could put a piece of it. No, I think that's, even though it's nice, I don't think it really fits. Ties in, I have this scrap. Yeah, and this was gifted to me by a dear friend, Annalisa, thank you very much. And we're just gonna fussy cut that. And I'll use my zigzag scissors for that so it doesn't fray. This end is already zigzag. And we're just going to cut about an inch. Just a small piece because that's a very small spine. Oh, we still have this piece here too. And we're just going to put that and cover up that spine right there. A little bit long. So I guess we should. Is that better? Yep, perfect. Okay. And let's get that down. I think we could do some art glitter glue with this. Lost my needle. There we go. All 
All right, let's get some glue down. Okay. Just eyeball this. Let that catch, and then we can do the sides. Okay. Other side. more glue in the middle just to make sure that's not going anywhere there we go look at that 15 minute journal guys probably could have did less if I wouldn't have been jibber jabbing and we still have this one piece we don't want anything to go to waste right let's see we can use that as a little pocket somewhere That's going to go there. Let's just put it right here as a little tuck. But that's kind of thin, so we need to back that. So we still have another piece left. So let's use this. that down and this is the only waste not too shabby not too shabby at all okay I'm going to glue down the two sides on here. Dried up on me just that fast. Okay. And if you want to, sometimes what I'll do with my pockets, I'll do a little diagonal cut there. And now, officially, we are done, guys. Just a quick little purse journal, pocket journal. We got some tuck spots. We got a couple pockets. Like I said, let me, let me throw, roll, throw in our grocery list, coupons, um, our list with our errands, tuck it in there. Um, we've got somewhere to jot down and do some writing. And we've got another pocket back here. Very, very cute. I like it. So I hope you like the make today, guys. So just, you know, don't be too quick. I can never say it enough. Don't be too quick to throw things away. Um, just find the beauty in it, reuse it in our journals, upcycle things, um, and just make them into something pretty for ourselves. We deserve it, right? <laughs> I think we do, and I think you do. So I hope you like my little journal. Just the one signature, just quick, quick and easy, quick, quick and easy, okay? And that would be a nice little closure, hang a little bead or a little dangle on that, that'd be cute too. But um, yeah, okay, so that's my make for today, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you like um, 
the journal. Hope you give it a try, not with these particular pieces, but with uh, your own, with your own pieces that you have um, to work with. And until next time, I will see you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and God bless. Bye-bye.